What's up guys, welcome to Blackie Cool. I'm your host, Gershon. Go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and ding that notification bell so you know when I post new videos. But we're back with another review of Stargirl. We're doing episode four. I believe it's called Wildcat. I forgot to look and check. But I am here to tell you this episode wasn't as bad. Still not that good. But yeah, before we get into it, please go check out Blacky Cool on Patreon. Think about becoming a patron. Look at the awards, all the cool tiers. See if that's something you want to do. And if you do, that'd be greatly appreciated if you would like to support the channel that way. But let's get into this episode. So we're off the heels of Hearst of Courtney. I think his name or Courtney. Like I said, we're going to call her Quartz because that's what I remember him calling her. Taking all the relics from the Justice Society of America, trying to find new Justice Society of America members, a.k.a. the JSA, trying to find new members. So she's in a room with the stuff on her bed and she's got a lot of privacy because they don't even come in her room. Like She's just, just sprawled out. And I'm like, why isn't... Um, is it Pal? I think it's Hal. Maybe it's Hal or Pal. I forget what her stepdad name is, aka Stripe. You don't get to ask the questions, Pat, if that's even your real name. It's Patrick. You mean Stripesy. Why is he, did he not even just double check? Cause he, he she's already taking stuff. You know she's just going into stuff you told her not to go into. Did he not go double check and make sure he didn't take anything? She didn't take anything from there? I don't know why he wouldn't. That would be my first thing to do. But yeah, she's playing with him, looking at the artifacts and whatnot. I'm calling them artifacts because they're artifacts. Uh, and she's playing with the pen where she told her this is the most dangerous one in here. And she's just clicking it away. Why would you do that? Like, you know there are powerful objects in this world because you have a staff that's one of them. Why are you trying to act like this is not something to be worried about? Like... I have no idea why she acted that way with it. And then eventually just threw it in some pin holder. So that's going to come back in later in episodes and blow up in our face if I get there. Um, but then we... Oh, I forgot. In the cold open, they tell us uh, Yolanda's backstory of how she came so... Um, kind of sheltered in, at, I would say, or wanted to get away from everybody. Um, and it's... It's a good story, but it's just the way they tell it is terrible. I'm sorry. There's one thing I really dislike about this show. The high school parts are really just like 1990 high school. Like, I don't think kids act like this. They try to update it with cell phones and stuff like that. And the way they sent the picture out, like, how does she do that? Drop boxes to everybody. We got iPhones and... Uh, galaxies and androids and pixels everybody ain't on the same network how she do that but the fact that they didn't go the school didn't go like hey we know you sent this this is uh what is it porn revenge i forgot what it's called you're going to jail or you're going to be suspended nothing happened to her i get it, it's a show but when your show is terribly written and boring the stuff that people don't normally worry about, they start asking questions about that stuff. And that's one. Of, these are one of those things. <laughs> but then I don't like the way they had her whole family condone her for doing something. Like, I get what she did was semi-bad. Uh, those are my kids are yelling. <laughs> that's my daughter. She's having a ball. Well, I get what she did was semi-bad. Um, she's a teenager. They make mistakes. And they're just titties. Like, I, I get it. I'm not, I'm not a woman, so I don't know how that will feel. But in the end, your family should be behind you all the way. And the fact that she's... There's, there's something here that I... Something here I'd really dislike. Um, she's Mexican-American. Her whole family just disgraced her. I mean, just disowned her. And act like she wasn't anything. And the only person that seems to be trying to help her is the white girl which is not the best kind of representation you want to have <laughs> i'm sorry um i think they could have did something better i mean her brother do is trying to help her or is still on her side but the fact that her father and her mother are like you disgrace the family and we're just gonna act like you're not here and treat you like garbage that's still your child that makes no sense that is ridiculous i wish they would have did something different than that 
you could have had it to where they're not as close anymore, but not to just disown your child like that. That was just it's and then there's a point where she's standing up for herself and she's like, I'm not gonna apologize for what happened. It was a mistake. I trust somebody and then to be like, I'm asking you guys for forgiveness, but I'm not gonna apologize for you anymore. And then to see her family be like, nope, we don't care. You're push, whatever. Like, that was horrible. That's just horrible writing. And I just, I wish they didn't did that. I wish they really wouldn't have done that. There was a better way to do this, a better way to set that up, but also a better way to give her the reason to stay as Wildcat. <sighs> terrible writing right there. That's just all terrible. like the fact the suit is horrible let's get that away the suit is horrible i like that it um automatically fits the person once they put the helmet on and the two way earpieces in the helmet that's cool uh the claws are cool the agility it gives you that's really cool it's really black panther suit <laughs> let's be honest it's really black panther suit <laughs> so many shades of black panther suit but it is cool we got to see some uh, cool movement in it, but once again, the show is terrible on action, terrible on CGI, which I get it. It's a TV show, so I'm not expecting it to be great, but do a little better. Have some better choreography or something. Um, and then uh, we see another girl, the one girl that has no friends and only hangs out with her parents. They're her parents, which I didn't understand this. Like, your kid, you see your kid doesn't have friends, and instead of trying to encourage them to go into activities you tell them like i'm not your best friend no like no that's your kid these parents in um is it blue bluff or wherever it is are terrible they're not supportive they're <laughs> the a-holes i'm sorry i try not to cuss on the channel so that's what i said a-holes i'm a grown man i don't ever say a-holes but these parents are terrible horrible um side plot we see that the uh, i'm going to call him wizard his wife is trying to leave the city. She ends up trying to tell uh, how, is it pal, how, Val? You don't get to ask the questions, Pat, if that's even your real name. It's Patrick. You mean Stripesy. Uh, what's like trying to tell him what's going on, but she chickens out, was like, don't trust the city, blah, blah, blah. And she chickens out, but she does leave the city. And then he finds her car later in the junkyard, uh, smashed up and stuff. So that um, kind of interesting. I didn't see any like freeze marks, so I wonder who killed her. And then we got, oh, we got this guy with lizard eyes. I don't, I forgot his name. I'm gonna be 100%. I don't know the Injustice Society characters. I don't even know the Justice Society characters that much, except like Flash and um, Flash, Wildcat, and Lantern. I don't know the other ones, uh, Night Owl, Midnight. That might even not even be their names. But um, there's this other character who's got like lizard eyes. He blinks weird and he's down to murder. <laughs> so I think he might have did it. He seems interesting. I want to learn more about him. I should have remembered his name, but I don't know if I'm going to watch this episode. I don't know if I'm going to continue watching this show. <laughs> be honest with you. But um, there's something else I want to talk about. Oh, when she made the diversion in the closet and she knocked everything down and how. Uh, Robert. Just a janitor trying to do his job. But yeah, um, this episode was a little better than all the other three episodes, but still, I think I might be letting this go. Uh, if you guys hit me in the comments, let me know you want me to continue. Uh, I told you guys I was going to do it this Friday, but after this, I don't know if I need to keep watching this show. <laughs> if you guys hit me down, let me know I want, you want me to keep doing this. I will. i watch some more, or I'm just going to hit you with a season season one at the end unless i get bored and i'll just i'll i'll watch episodes here and there when i can <laughs> i'm sorry this it's such a bad show <laughs> it's it's boring it's not fun it's not entertaining i'm i'm cracking jokes at it but 
out of just pity for it, like, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> if you love this show, please hit me in the comments. Let me know why you love it. And if you do love it, I'm sorry that this seems like I'm hating it. It just might not be a show for me. It shouldn't be for anybody, but it might not be a show for me. But thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate you checking out the channel. Go ahead and check out some more videos on the channel. Hit the like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in my next video.